Hey everyone, today I'm going to explain you the binary search algorithm. It's one of the easiest algorithm. Uh, so here the problem is we have a sorted array. You can see here 10, 24, 32, 54, 78, 83, 84, 85, and 92. A 10-membered array where I want to search say 85 in a very optimal way. Certainly you can go for the linear search where you will visit each and every element and check whether the search element is getting matched with that element. Then yes, return the index of that value. It's fine, but if you if you search a record of say million items, this is not an efficient way. So and binary search comes from there. So we need to optimally find the index of a search item from a given array, sorted array. So what we are going to do here, so from this list of elements, uh, my search item is 85. So uh, here the start index, before we start the iteration processing, the start index is the first element in the array, that is 10, or the start, I'm sorry, start index is 0 here, and the stop index is 10. That's a count of the array. From here, we will try to find the middle index start index plus stop index by 2 and the element here is 78 we will check what's the value in the middle index because it's a sorted array and what we will do we'll just search whether this value is greater than or sm smaller than the search item if it's if the search value is greater than this value that means the item is somewhere here in the other condition it will be somewhere here again it's because it's a sorted array right so in our condition so we have we have checked 78 is or 85 is greater than 78 that means we can easily move the start index to the next item right after the 78 which is 83 okay now we have got a second portion of that array or we have removed or we have removed a lot of unwanted items we directly jumped or we reduced the probability <coughs> here then we have four more items to check again the start index is yeah, here stop index we will check what's the mid index and we got 85 and we will check whether the value at mid index which is 85 is equal to 85 yes we found the item simple this is very efficient when you uh, say do a kind of search for a uh, item in a, from a million million of records it's very effective so let's let's see how we can implement this in a, uh, in a C++ program or C program so here it is I have the same array here my array size is 10 I'm searching for say 85 what I'll do, I have a function called binary search. I'm sorry, I, we don't need this value, I believe. Yeah. The start index is 0, stop index is the count, which is the A stop index. Then we'll go for a while loop. We will check, we will go through this loop until the start index e become equal or greater than stop index, or st until the stop index is greater than start index in the other way around yeah and I have a utility function to just see what's the uh, what are the items in the array remaining portion see here so here I'm trying to find the mid index and we are just doing the same check what I explained you in the picture if value of mid index is greater than SV then that means we are just move moving the stop index back to the mid index if it's equal that means we found the item or else we are moving the start index as mid index plus one okay so let's see how it works <coughs> I'm sorry I have some antivirus application so here you can see the array so from the array for the first iteration we are picking the 78 and we are checking whether the 78 is smaller than 85 yes then we are moving the start index further 
78 then the start index will become a 6 stop index is say, stop index remains same then we have the second portion of the array which is 83 84 85 and 92 then we, the value at the middle index is 85 that means we found item in two iterations we found a item from a 10 membered array that's efficiency of binary research See what happens if I'm searching for an item which is not there in the array. Say 100. What happens here? I would like to explain the the while condition here. Yeah. So you're searching for 100, which is not there in the array. Yes. So here we are pick. We are doing the same search. We we got even uh, one item and we are fine. We are saying that okay, 92 is smaller than 100 by that time the start index become equal to the stop index and we just moved out of the while one loop and we are returning minus one that means we, the item is not there in the array you can see we can do a sir after the once you return get the index you can just check whether the value is minus one that means the search value is not there anymore so that's all about binary search you can you can find the example code from the, my github profile thank you very much